What's going on guys? Today we're making smash burgers on my Blackstone. These are gonna be mushroom swish smash burgers, so stop right now and you gotta watch this recipe. First, I'm gonna drop my meat, pause, then you gotta put my kidneys. But first of all, you gotta put the pepper, because you know you can't go wrong with a little bit of pepper. It gives a little bit of zing to the people that can't handle too much spicy. But I'm gonna put my kim Kinders combo, the caramelized onion with some of that prime steak Kinders. Then I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs to the egg. That's actually the first time I've ever been able to crack an egg like that that they do all over the internet. Anyways, when you gotta mix your meat up, you gotta be gentle with it. Don't go too crazy with your meat. Pause. Make sure you mix everything well. And I go by texture. Extreme pause, extreme pause. But anyways, all jokes aside, you gotta go by texture. As you can see, my meat's too soft right now. And then I'm gonna add all these breadcrumbs to toughen up the meat. Cause you wanna make sure your meatballs are nice and firm because you don't want it to fall apart all over your blackstone. And I promise you, I'm not trying to be funny right now. It's just a weird way to explain how I make burgers. Anyways though, make sure your balls are firm. And we're gonna roll all these in. So I like to make like a, I'm gonna make a big meatball for each one. So one pound of beef gave me about seven balls and seven balls make seven patties. Cause I'm gonna make these smash burgers a little bit thicker. I like them crispy, but my wife don't like them crispy. So, you know, as in a marriage, you gotta find what's good in the middle. But anyway, so I'm gonna put my big heavy thing on the meat. I don't know what's it really called to be honest. Excuse my French. But anyways, you gotta smash your meat down. That's the whole point. We're making smash burgers. So you gotta smash them. You got to flip it. Mine broke a little bit, but that's okay, man. That's okay. I'm going to put my Swiss cheese on it. And I'm still getting used to it. But, you know, number one, you got to put that little thing on it to make sure it actually melts. And you can put a little water or a little bit of oil to make sure it actually melts. And I cut the cheese a little thick, so it was kind of tough to melt. But it's okay. It still melted enough for me to enjoy the burger. And then my wife don't like these buns too toasted. So I only warm the buns on the blacks on a little bit. Kind of like how McDonald's warms up the buns. Kind of just warm it up a little bit. But not too toasty because she likes the soft buns. And then anyways, I'm going to build my burgers now. My wife wanted Kobe Jack on hers because she don't like mushroom or Swiss. But that's okay. I kind of made hers extra thick on the cheese. So I tried to really make sure these are actually melted. Mine I didn't care about too much. I just want to eat because I haven't ate all day. But this is actually a really good recipe for you when trying to lose weight. So especially if you're doing like two meals a day or whatever, you're a busy man. This only took me about 15 minutes in total to cook and prepare. And two of my double burgers with cheese and everything was about less than 1,100 calories and still 120 grams of protein. Keep in mind, I only used about 400 calories-ish worth of cheese and the rest was 93.7 ground beef. I didn't put no sauce, no nothing. I only put hot sauce on mine. But I love mine because if, you if your meat is flavorful enough, you don't need to add all that extra mayo and stuff, but you do what you do. Have a balance. Enjoy what you eat. That's the biggest thing. Make sure you enjoy it. This is my burger. I absolutely loved it. I loved how it came out. Kind of looks like five guys, except I didn't pay no damn $30 for these two burgers. But yeah, I took a little bite before anyone else did. I took a bite of my wife's too. I can't tell her none of that. I turned around and told her I dropped it so they cut a piece off. But yeah, anyways, I love how these burgers came out. I put a little bit of hot sauce because, you know, you need some acidity to cut through all the richness. I loved how these came out. 8.7 out of 10, one of my favorite personal recipes. 15 minutes is all you need. Made a good meal for the family. My, my wife loved it, and I really hope y'all enjoy this recipe too. Here's a little glimpse of my wife's burger coming up in a few seconds too. But yeah, this was a real easy, cheap, good family recipe. Hope y'all enjoy. Have a good one.